What is going on YouTube? Greetings from the beautiful Ruby Princess. We just pulled into Cartagena, Colombia. Can't wait to get out and explore the beautiful old city and share those videos with you in the future. But that's not what this video is about today. I've received a few messages from you guys asking if I do an updated packing video. Those have been some of my most popular videos over my last four to five years of travel. And I'll definitely do that in the future. But I figured I'd share with you five items that I'm packing that make the cruise experience a little bit more enjoyable. And these are five items I haven't seen on anybody else's packing list about cruise essentials. And there's some unique items that I figured I'd share with you. All right, let's jump into the first item. Okay, so one of the things that annoys me about cruising is all the things you have to bring with you, put in your pockets when you leave your cabin to go run around the ship or to go out in the cruise port. You have to bring your phone. Most of us always carry our phone with us. You have to bring your wallet if you're going out in town because you're gonna need credit cards and an ID. And then you have to make sure you remember to bring your cruise card to get you in your cabin or on Princess Cruises, your medallion, because if you don't, you're locked out of your room and it's kind of a pain in the butt to get back into your room. So you gotta carry these three things. They're in your pockets. You have risk of losing them. I hate that, I'm very much a minimalist. Well, I found a solution on Amazon and it's this little magnetic wallet, right? So if you use an iPhone, the wallets can magnetically attach to the back of your iPhone where you would usually charge it. So that's what this wallet has built into it, a little magnet. But what else it has built into it is an area right here for a cruise card. So if you have a cruise card, you could just put it right here or if you have a medallion, you could put it right here in this little spot. It's made for an Apple AirTag, but a medallion fits in it quite well. And inside of it, you have space for an ID card and then a couple credit cards. You can also use this thing as a stand for your phone uh, to watch videos or to record yourself out in town, whatever it is. It works pretty well as a stand for your phone as well. And also, if you hold it like this, it's a great way to take a selfie. It's kind of like a little miniature selfie stick, but it's your wallet. So this just goes on the back of your phone. It's a strong magnet. It attaches to it. And so now when I leave my cabin, I'm only bringing one thing with me. I'm bringing my phone, which has my wallet, and the way to get back into my cabin, my medallion, or my card. This is one of my favorite items, and you can use this beyond cruising as well. It's a great little life hack. Okay, so the next item is one I haven't seen in any other video. Let me show you here real quick. If I can get it to unblur. Can you guess what this item is down in the comments? I'll give you a second to try to guess before I show you what it is. All right, let me show you what it is. Let's go in the bathroom real quick, and we'll figure out what this little round donut looking thing is. Okay, so this might seem kind of silly in a world with a lot of big problems, but one of the things I struggle with is what to do with my toothbrush after I brush my teeth in order to keep it sanitary. Do I hang the brush head over the sink like this and hope it doesn't get hit by my uh, cabin steward? Or do I stick it in one of these mouthwash cups, you know, hoping that it's sanitary? Like, what do I do with it? So I found a solution on Amazon that's pretty low profile, easy to pack, and kind of solves this problem. So there it is. The toothbrush just floats there, stays sanitary, and it, like I said, it's really easy to pack. I know it's kind of silly, but it's one of those things that just makes cruising a little bit more convenient, I guess. And this is a little bonus item. This isn't in included in the five, but a lot of people use those round toothbrush holders or those foldable travel toothbrushes and those things are pretty unsanitary and they're um, you know they're tough to keep clean this little one I found is really easy to keep clean and easy to pack and keep your toothbrush sanitary okay so this next item is one of my favorite travel hacks not just cruise hacks so when we pack our bag to come on the cruise we bring a lot of clothes with us we fold them or roll them up and when we get to the cruise ship they're all wrinkly and maybe you can find an iron on board to iron all that stuff, but that's a lot of time and kind of a pain in the rear end. So I can't remember who told me about this. It was one of my viewers, but this little spritz bottle here, I don't know if you can see it, but all I do is lightly mist all of my clothes 
when I unpack them, I hang them up, I lightly mist them, and all the wrinkles fall out of them. I've done it with sports coats, I've done it with slacks, I've done it with everything, and it works on pretty much every material that I travel with. Okay, the next item is pretty common for people traveling internationally, but I haven't seen it very much on cruise ship packing videos. So it is a plug, an outlet plug. So when you come on a ship, a lot of people try to bring those power strips and extension cords, and most cruise ships will confiscate them. They will not confiscate this little international plug. And what's great about this thing is it has plug-ins for all different kinds of plugs, US plugs, European plugs, plugs in Asia, and a lot of cruise ships will have dual power plugs. They'll have European and US plugs. And so you lose out on like half of your plug because you don't have anything to plug into them. Well, when I'm on a ship that has European plugs, I just pull that plug out and I'm good. I got power. And then you can plug in a bunch of different types of outlets. It has all kinds of different styles that you can plug into it. But another thing it has that's great is USB-C ports. So it has USB-C or USB-A ports, which are the old school ones, and it has USB-C ports, which are the new school ones. This one is 35 watts, so it also doubles as a laptop, iPhone, iPad quick charger if you just use that outlet. So this one's kind of highlighted in red. This one I can use to charge my MacBook. Now you want to check your computer and see if it'll work, but this 35 watt thing works on my MacBook Pro. Okay, so the last item I want to share with you is in a similar category to the one I just showed you, electronics charging. I mentioned that ships don't allow extension cords on board, but what they do allow you to bring on board are those little USB-C cords to charge your phone. They don't care what length they are. So this last hack, and this is a travel hack too, not just a cruise ship hack, but as many of you know that travel on cruise ships, usually the outlets in your cabin are in the worst locations for charging things like phones or iPads or anything like that. Usually won't have one around your bed unless you're lucky enough to get one of those USB-C chargers in your lamp but normally it's in a very inconvenient location. So what I do is I buy these long USB-C cords. I have an eight foot one here. So you'll see this one will go all the way to the back of the bed here. And then I have this 10 foot one here that you can basically be anywhere in the room and have charging capabilities. This one is so long. I can be all the way over there on my desk. You just heard it smack into the desk and I can be laying on here with my iPad and be charging. So I think this is just a great hack for travelers in general, but specifically for the unique challenges that come with traveling in cruise ships. All right, so those are the five items that I think are pretty unique to travel with when you cruise. What do you think about these? Do you have any unique items that you travel with that you haven't seen in any of the other travel packing cruise vlogs that you wanna share? Make sure you share them down below. Thanks for watching. See you next video.